Now this is a news that I wasn't ready to hear at all after so many years of this game just being completely abandoned, no updates, no new trailer, not a single mention, nothing. And now out of nowhere, we get this news. What was supposed to be the most ambitious open world universe RPG game out there is now just a distant memory for most people who used to know about this game. And if you didn't know about it, well I don't blame you at all, this is Beyond Good and Evil 2. A game that wasn't mentioned in an extremely long time and today we're gonna talk about some really exciting or maybe some really concerning news depending on the person that sees this and what we know of Ubisoft in today's gaming world in 2022. For the first time in almost 4 years, Beyond Good and Evil 2 has been mentioned and not just a some small little update or little mention, but something pretty big. The renowned industry insider Tom Anderson who gets almost all of his leaks right, he leaked Battlefield 2042, the new skate game and tons more, while well, this Tom just said that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is beginning external playtesting next month in August. After more than 3 years, out of nowhere, they're just beginning playtesting. Kotaku had reported earlier this year that the project had been bleeding cash for years, and although the project has had its problems, it's now also been officially confirmed by Ubisoft that it is still in active development. They announced this to their recent investor Q&A. Several of Tom's sources then contacted him to confirm that the game is beginning its playtesting next month, and that these playtests will be more extensive than Ubisoft's somewhat standard one session per week test, which we've seen for the likes of The Division Artland, X Defiant and more, says the Tom Anderson website. So this game seems to be in a pretty great playable state if Ubisoft is going all in right now. I'm still extremely worried though as almost everything Ubisoft puts out recently has been really bad and I wouldn't be surprised if the game is completely different than before in a bad way. Though I'm still skeptically excited and I won't be fooled by these guys if it turns out to be trash. Tom Anderson's sources unfortunately doesn't go into details as far as when the game will be releasing. There's no mention if it'll be coming this year in 2023 or even further. What the game is supposed to be though or what it's been said to be is extremely ambitious and if they still go into that idea, which I doubt they will, well this could take a lot of time because they want this game to be an open universe with different planets to explore all having their own cities, villages and environments with different unique missions. Kind of like what Starfield is being advertised for right now. I just really hope it becomes something great and even though the original game vision of the game might be way too big, it could still be something good right now if they don't go with that ambitious idea. If you guys didn't know, Skull and Bones, a long forgotten Ubisoft upcoming game that was announced, I don't know, maybe 4 or 5 years ago, has also been revived lately with its new gameplay reveal. So surprisingly, I just wouldn't be surprised that they actually revive Beyond Good and Evil 2. There's just a lot of potential with this game, but we, with Ubisoft, we never know. Beyond Good and Evil 2 has been in production since freaking 2007. The game was officially approved in 2008, and since then, it has changed direction so often. From being a sequel, to Ubisoft changing it to a prequel, to being a sequel again, to being something completely different in the end right now. It changed so much, and even today, it is told that Ubisoft doesn't know what to do with it. Ubisoft's plan has completely changed over the past year, from making single player games with a normal story and an actual ending, to now making live service games that will never end for years to come, thus incorporating a lot of grinding. So maybe Beyond Good and Evil 2 wasn't up for that task, and so they're changing it again to fit with the plan. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still in development, it's still several years away, said one developer that reached out after his Beyond Good and Evil tweets, Tom said. He also said he's heard of 2024 and 2025 dates thrown around a bit for the game's release date, which is so far away still. It's like this game is doomed from the beginning. Though it seems as of recently that Ubisoft is still searching for more people to work on the game, since it has opened many job listings like 3D programmers, level artists, and many more to join the Beyond Good and Evil 2 development team. Told by Ubisoft to be one of the most innovative productions at Ubisoft, Beyond Good and Evil 2 was first revealed during a Ubisoft event in 2008, and it's been 2 years we haven't heard a single official thing from it like a new trailer or gameplay in 2022. For more gaming news like this, make sure you guys support and subscribe.